We are on scene tonight with the Kern County, California Sheriff's Department showing the dangers that officers face across the country. Now, before we get to the body cam and the surveillance video released last week, let's start with two 911 calls as a man with a sledgehammer attacked a family member, then threatened a man at a business. He's knocking people's windows out and tearing the trailer up, all kinds of stuff. Where is he at now? He's running down the trailer car, calling people out of their trailers. I was like, sir, you need to leave. I'm, I'm going to call the cops. And uh -huh. he told me to uh, put down the phone and, got, and grab the knife and went across my stomach, but it didn't cut me or nothing. Deputies found the suspect, Devin Moore, walking along a road carrying a fire extinguisher. They followed the suspect in their vehicles giving orders for him to stop. Devin, stop! Don't get yourself any more trouble, bro. Just stop and drop the knife and uh, drop the fire extinguisher. But Moore used the fire extinguisher to try and hide his escape. He then ran to a business and into a guard shack, took the employee inside hostage at knife point. Is somebody in there? Back away! Back Dude, away. you better put that down. Back away! We'll back up. Put it down. Back up with me now! Go! Put your hey. weapon away! Go! 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 As the employees struggled with Moore, deputies arrived. They fired two shots, hitting Moore, who died at the scene. Deputies recovered a knife with a five inch long blade. The employee was not injured. The sheriff's office determined the use of force to be within department policy. The DA's office still reviewing the case. Joining me now, someone live PD fans may recognize, Chad Ayers, retired Greenville, South Carolina Sheriff's Deputy. He's also the founder of Proactive Response Group, providing training for active shooter and emergency medical situations. Chad, good to see you. Take me through this from the deputy's perspective. Sure. You know, that initial 911 call comes in, Dan, where this gentleman's already shown a propensity for violence. He's assaulted family members. He's already tried to stab a gentleman in the store on that second 911 call. And so they've done an excellent job staying in their patrol cars, you know, where it's safe, giving verbal commands like we talk about all the time over and over again, trying to de-escalate the situation as much as he can. And then we see he takes off running into that guard shack um, and takes that gentleman hostage. And I'll be honest, this video needs to be used for training. These officers did an excellent job that day. But you know, this is a tough situation, right? The suspect, as you mentioned, already attacked two people. He runs in the business, takes another guy hostage. Now, th this is what I want to watch this, this moment again. Let's watch it. What happened? Dude, you better put that down. Back away. We'll back up. Put it down. Back up with me now. Go. Put your hey. away. Go. Go. Chad, tell me about the decision there to use deadly force. Yeah, like I said, he's already tried to, to stab one person. He runs into a guard shack, takes this innocent man hostage. You know, in law enforcement, we put innocent civilians above ourselves. They tried to defuse the situation, talk to him. They're in a close, you know, area right there uh, where using a, a less lethal, uh, I don't believe time was on their hands. This guy's already tried to stab one person. You've got an innocent civilian right there. That's a small window of opportunity. You're coming from a guy that's been involved in several hostage rescues in his life. Uh, that's a small, not just uh, time opportunity, but even that small area of that door right there for that officer to take a shot, an accurate, precise right. shot like he did. This officer definitely spent some time training, so kudos to him. All right. Chad Ayers, great to see you. Thanks for coming on the show. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.